Hands up. Don't shoot. It's a rallying cry of people all across America who are fed up with police violence in community after community after community. People are fed up all across America because of the injustice involved in continuing to see young, unarmed African American men killed as a result of a gun shot fired by a law enforcement officer. People in America are fed up with a broken criminal justice system. Hands up, don't shoot. The killing of Michael Brown and attacks by the Ferguson Police Department on protesters demonstrate an assumption that young women and men who are African American are inherently suspicious, a false assumption with deadly consequences. We are running out of patience. Last week, the nation waited and hoped that justice would finally be served in the case of Michael Brown. We waited to hear our country say loud and clear, there are consequences for taking the lives of others. We waited to hear some reassurance that black and brown boys' lives do matter. But again, we were terribly disappointed and discouraged. The Ferguson grand jury's decision not to indict former officer Darren Wilson was yet another slap in our face. It was a painful reminder that just like with Trayvon Martin and Tamir Rice and so many others, that law enforcement officers kill our black and brown men and boys without repercussions. Though we've elected President Barack Obama here in the United States, I heard some say that we were in a post-racial America. No, we are not. For racism is still alive and well in the United States. I saw this clip where the Rams players came into the arena. Hands up, don't shoot. It was a John Carlos moment because this has become the new symbol, a new statement, a statement wherein people around the country now are calling to the attention of those who don't quite understand that this is a movement that will not dissipate. Let me say that I also admire the young St. Louis Rams players who raise their hands to be able to share in the dignity of those young peaceful protesters. If we don't affirm nonviolence, then who will? And I think everyone, law enforcement and others who agree or disagree should recognize young people like the ones in Houston, Texas, don't shoot. That does not in any way denigrate or disrespect our law enforcement officers. Where is the closure for Michael Brown's parents? Where is the understanding for the outrage and desperation of the black community? The fact that our country, the greatest country in the world, remains mired in race relations issues in the year 2014 is an embarrassment. We really should consider taking a long look in the mirror before we go to other countries lecturing to them about the need for democracy and tolerance.